Let's take a look now at how to switch video. There are two rows of 14 input selectors, one for program and one for preview and effects. The input status indicators above the top row of buttons show which inputs are connected and actually sending signal. First, let's press the preview button under the monitor section. Now we're going to select the channel that we want to see on that particular preview bus. This confirms we have the correct source before going live with it. The output to the program bus uh, happens just by simply hitting the take button or in fact just using the T bar in this particular case. Notice now how the the channel button you just selected is in red and the bottom row has a channel in green that was previously live which is now being shown on the preview monitor as it has become the source being previewed. How a source transitions to the next source is determined by the buttons to the right of the T-bar. In addition to straight cuts, you can use three different types of dissolves as well as four white pattern presets. Choose from the 27 different white patterns simply by hitting the transition button here and at this point you can go into the menu and just choose which particular white pattern you want. This menu also allows you to set the units of time between seconds, frames, or a combination of both. The transition time is available on this menu as well as on the time dial above the white pattern buttons.